वेलकम फ्रेंड्स नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी बायोलॉजिकल क्लासिफिकेशन ठीक है फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल द ओल्डेस्ट क्लासिफिकेशन आई हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड इन द प्रीवियस चैप्टर वाज द एरिस्टोटल्स क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ टू किंगडम ठीक है व्हिच वाज प्रीवियसली गिवन बाय सुश्रुता सो ओल्ड फादर ऑफ टू किंगडम क्लासिफिकेशन इज एरिस्टोटल बट नाउ इट इज मॉडर्न फादर ऑफ टू किंगडम क्लासिफिकेशन इज कंसीडर्ड एज लीनियस व्हिच वी हैव डिस्कस्ड नाउ कमिंग टू थ्री किंगडम क्लासिफिकेशन वाज फेल्ट इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज़ इन प्लांट एंड एनिमल वी कंसीडर ऑल प्रोकैरियोटिक एंड यूकैरियोटिक ऑर्गेनिजम्स so this was a very big hurdle ki how prokaryote and eukaryote how unicellular multicellular all are placed together hence came in picture the three kingdom classification given by arndt seckel he classified protoctista as the third kingdom of life in protoctista what we include we include the those organisms which are unicellular but there was a problem in unicell here we have included both prokaryote and eukaryote together so this was a basic hurdle which was removed by copeland in 1950s what he did he he gave the fourth kingdom of life which was the monera which included only prokaryotes so what about in protista here comes eukaryotes which are unicellular are placed here so unicellular eukaryotes are placed in protista then came multicellular plants and animals then again what was the controversy fungus was not placed anywhere virus was not placed anywhere hence came in picture fifth kingdom which was given by whitaker what it did he gave a new kingdom which was the fifth kingdom of life named as fungi which included only a chlorophyllous plants theek hai so again sixth kingdom class which came in picture by wood et al who classified a new kingdom archaebacteria means old bacteria because archaebacteria and new bacteria differ in them which we will discuss later on so this was archaebacteria was the sixth kingdom fifth was eubacteria then protista fungi plant and animal so now see again wood classified the entire life of the two three major domains first was archaebacteria second was eubacteria and third was eukaryotes in archaebacteria we included all primitive bacteria which were having two different characteristic two important characteristic they do not have cell wall of murine or mycopeptide or what we call peptidoglycan similarly they have different gene for 16s ribosomal rna and they can thrive in extreme environments these are the basic characteristic of archaebacteria due to which they are classified separate from eubacteria the example of them are halophiles thermostophiles one of the very important bacteria is thermos aquaticus which give us stack dna polymerase which is used in pcr machine now which is used in pcr machine in biotechnology now second was eubacteria which include modern bacteria and third was eukaryotes as a whole so these are modern three domains which we discuss ठीक है अकॉर्डिंग टू वूस नाउ सी फ्रेंड्स कमिंग टू द किंगडम मोनेरा लेट अस स्टार्ट फर्स्ट किंगडम ऑफ लाइफ द मोनेरास नाउ फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वन क्वेश्चन यू हैव टू आंसर इज ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ डीएनए हाउ यू विल डिवाइड द एंटायर डायवर्सिटी सो आंसर विल बी ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ डीएनए यू कैन डिवाइड द एंटायर डायवर्सिटी इनटू ओनली टू किंगडम्स व्हिच विल बी प्रोकैरियोट्स एंड यूकैरियोट्स नाउ कमिंग टू किंगडम मोनेरा ओल्ड नेम ऑफ मोनेरा वाज माइकोटा which was renamed by doherty and elin to monera now first is archaebacteria we have already discussed the characteristic second is eubacteria theek hai we will discuss the entire detail structure of eubacteria later on they have cell wall of murine they have normal 16s ribosomal rna and we will discuss their cell structure sexual reproduction classification diseases and antibiotics by different these are very important for pmt so this all should be to camp in your mind cell structure of bacteria sexual reproduction modes like conjugation you might have read in 12th conjugation second will be transduction transduction third will be sex duction these all method we will come to know then classification you all might be knowing classification like monophylate biphylate multiphylate we have there in plants here we are we have classification on the basis of flagella a trichus no flagella mono trichus single flagella poly trichus many flagella lofo trichus one bunch of flagella cephalo trichus different bunch two bunch at both ends mp trichus single flagella at both ends similarly we classify the bacteria on the basis of shape also vibrio means comma shape coccus means spherical shape spirillum means spiral shape bacillus means rod shape similarly again we classify them on the basis of their structure as monococcus when we have single circular coccus bacteria diplococcus when two are added together staphylococcus when we have, we have bunch streptococcus when we have chain 
and sarcenia when we have cubic arrangement of different bacteria similarly we will classify them again we have to study diseases so in diseases what comes with different types of bacterial disease we study disease of plant caused by bacteria disease of animals caused by bacteria this yields two questions in paper this you have to cram and lastly comes antibiotics which we have to discuss there different types of antibiotics and their different different sources like streptomycin streptomycin is erythritis yield us the antibiotic erythromycin so that is also a very big important table for pmt okay then comes cell structure that we will discuss later on now coming to third class of monera which we have blue gin algae or cyanobacteria why we call cyano cyano means blue color this is given by <coughs> in blue gin algae now example is no stock so first of all what we have in cell structure cell structure is here like this is group of this is like filament hence we call it trichome outermost is mucilage inside we have these no stock bacteria what we have different different cells attached together in between them we have heterocyst heterocyst has cell wall which is permeable to which is uh, permeable to all thing but it is impermeable for oxygen hence what they perform they have nitrogen is there for nitrogen fixation now they reproduce by harmogonia formation is there so this is about the life cycle of cyanobacteria two things has used to be very common first is heterocyst formation second is harmogonia formation and third is they give guardico phenomenon what is guardico phenomenon guardico phenomenon is to differential glowing capability of blue gin algae at different wavelengths of light so this is all about cyanobacteria now in the uh, uh, next page what we will discuss will be the structure of monera now coming on viruses viruses are a member of eukaryotes nowadays it was first observed by ivanovsky bejernik isolated it and he called it as contagium vivum fluidum means contagious fluid later on stanley worked on it and tmv was isolated the structure of tmv is like a banana bunch the structure of tmv is like a banana bunch nowadays we are having international code for viral nomenclature which gives two names first name is common name like tobacco mosaic virus and second name is, is its cryptogram which consists of four parts first part is revealing the rna single stranded second part reveals its molecular weight of rna is fifth two by fifth of the entire nucleic acid shape is elongate of uh, nucleic acid and elongate of virus last is the host and mode of action or mode of disbursement of that is it sign it is still not clear now so this is its cryptogram now coming to the other type of virus which we have, have to know is bacteriophages there are two types t1 t3 t5 which are in odd phases while t2 t4 and t6 which are even phases even phases are tadpole shape and odd phages are spherical in nature so this is the basic difference between them common t2 bacteriophage structure we have already studied in 11th okay it is tadpole shape now coming to viroids what are viroids they were discovered by odinier they are just rna neither capsid nor capsomeres so they are infective particle causing potato spindle tuber disease chrysanthemum stunt etc now coming to prions they are recently discovered infective proteins by prisoner they causes mad cow disease etc okay now coming to classification of virus which was given by almes so they classify virus into two types dna virus and rna virus rna virus is our single strand like polio virus hiv these all are single strand virus but they will have in pmt you have been asked by double strand rna virus which are rio virus and wundtimer virus in dna virus dna double strand dna virus like coliform mosaic virus these all are very common so they will ask with you single strand dna virus which are 5x174 m13 coliphages etc 